When it rains in Brisbane, it kind of pours. We get really heavy downfalls and it's been a really wet and rainy week this week. So today's video is gonna be about things to do in Brisbane when it's wet and rainy. Before we get started, we're gonna go and have a coffee at one of our favorite coffee houses. It's in West End and it's a perfect place to go when it's raining. <laughs> Over the years, performers from the Queensland Performing Arts Centre, which is nearby, would often pop into the Three Monkeys Cafe after their show. Can't you imagine them sitting around, drinking coffee, eating cake, talking about that night's performances? Some of Australia's best actors, musicians and ballet dancers have left their posters here signed and they're displayed on the wall. So this is chocolate pecan pie. And I asked if they could cut one piece in half and, and this is how they did it. Isn't it beautiful the way they did it? So, just perfect amount. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. It's got orange in it too. Mm. It's so good. So can you see why we like coming to Three Monkeys? It's one of our favourite places that we love to come to. It kind of feels more like a Turkish den or something like that. It has a bit of a European influence as well. They have delicious cakes and the staff are really friendly and the coffee's good, it's really good. So, uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. Now let's go, off to the next place. Mm. Thanks fellas. Hey, go. Go. <laughs> go have fun. good value. For $10 we could use unlimited everything. Yeah, really good. It's $10 for, for like a happy hour. Yeah, for one hour at five o'clock every day. Yeah. Yeah, so that was great. Yeah. Okay, so we've come into the city and we're going to do our last thing that you can do on a rainy day and that is mini golf at a place called Holy Moly and we've never been there before but, um, but we thought we'd make it a bit more exciting because there's two families that we know are watching our videos. And one is a family, the Parker family in the UK. And they have uh, daughters and the whole family sits down on a Friday night and they watch our videos and they look forward to them. And they're Australians living in the UK and our videos make them homesick. So I'm gonna play mini golf for the Parker family and Paul is gonna play for the Dwyer family. And the Dwyer family have returned home from the UK and they're currently in quarantine and looking forward to getting home to Caloundra again soon. So Paul's gonna play for, we just thought that would make it a bit more exciting. Paul would play for the Dwyer family. I'd play for the Parker family so they can watch it from the UK and in quarantine. And the family that wins, or out of us, if we're, whoever we win, for which family, then we're going to send you a gift. So uh, it makes it a little bit more exciting.
<laughs> you might as well pick it up. <laughs> Can I check that school? No. <laughs> Don't worry, Parker family. If I have to cheat, I will. started at a really cute little Japanese Japanese restaurant in Elizabeth Street which is at the back of Winter Garden Shopping Centre which was where the holy moly mini golf was so we're just having celebratory um, some like steak chips and to share and uh, lychee drink in case you didn't work out the Parker family won that one because I won the mini golf by about three or four. Like Paul says I was cheating, but I won by about three or four, didn't I? Huh? So congratulations, Parker family. But we kind of feel bad for the Dwyer family. So we're gonna send you a little gift too. So we'll be in touch with both of you. It's just a way to say thank you for watching our videos and for sharing your story. We really appreciate it because it's for families like you and, and people all around the world um, watch our videos and, and make these, uh, you know, send these lovely comments and that's what motiva motivates us to do these videos. So thank you for watching and thank you to everyone for watching. We really appreciate it. <laughs>